We're going to be taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on five-star cornerback who signed with the Alabama Crimson Tide, Zay Mincy. We're going to be looking at his highlights. We're going to look at the scouting report and everything else, but you need to click that subscribe button right now. Tap it with the finger on your phone. Click it with the mouse on the computer. Whatever you got to do to get the job done because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class Every single day this offseason, we're going player by player. That way you know what these players can do when they start making plays for your team this year, next year, the year after. Click that button. Stop missing out here. But looking at Xavier Mincy, he goes by Zay Mincy, though. You can tell by his huddle tape. And he's a five-star, four-star hybrid, four-star in the composite Five star in the rankings. I like the roundup. I'm more interested in the offers when I look at these players. But he's ranked as the fourth best cornerback and the sixth best in the composite per 24 7 sports. 247 sports, if you say it correctly. Six foot one and a half, 187 pounds. Looks like we got some length here. Enrolled with Alabama on January 10th. 35 offers. Looking at here for him, that means college football wanted him. And just skimming the top here, top tier Power 5 schools, SEC, ACC, top tier programs, Alabama, Florida, Florida State, Miami, and more, and more. And there are teams that just didn't submit offers because they knew they couldn't get them. That's just how it rolls. All-American Bowl, played some all-star games. And we're reading the scouting report here. Twitched up reactionary athlete with outstanding size length that will warrant a look at cornerback but could ultimately settle in as a safety at the next level. They're saying a lot here. They're saying he's got a lot of burst. He's saying he's got good size, adjust athleticism. He's got range. He's a taller DB. Let's just call him DP because he could be switching to safety. They said he could do that. But he's listed at cornerback. He's a guy that can react. He can read what's going on. That's what they said there, and they said it with this many words. Held his own out on the perimeter in both press man and off coverage. His final two seasons at prep level total 21 pass breakups, six interceptions, has proven to be a rather fluid mover with the speed and agility to match wide receivers. We have an athlete here that moves laterally well has light feet, has burst, has speed, can keep up with wide receivers, and can be a lockdown guy. That's what they're saying right here, just a few sentences in. So when these scouts use funny language, you really got to think things through here. They're saying a lot about his game. I'm excited to dig into the highlights here. You can read the rest for yourself, but I got a good idea. I think I broke it down what he was trying to say here. Looking at the timeline, Enrolled in Alabama on January 10th, committed on January 6th. Looks like he was all Alabama. Florida State tried to get in there. 2023, 38 tackles, 18 pass breakups, 3 interceptions. But 5-star, 4-star hybrid, 6 foot 1 and a half, 187 pounds. Looking at on 3 here. Rankings are kind of all over the place. Cornerback 3 for on 3. Cornerback 3 for the industrial rankings. ESPN has him at 4. Rivals has him at 17. Hybrid 4, 5 star. Rivals has him at 4 stars. On 3 has him at 4. ESPN has him at 4. Industry Rankings has him at 5. 24 7 Sports has him at 5 stars as well. I just call him a hybrid. I know he got a ton of offers from top tier Power 5 programs. That's saying the market is hot for him and they think he's a good prospect. They think he's top level. And they would not be going after him if they thought anything different. But we're going to take a look at the highlights. We're going to watch this kid ball out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button. But we're going to take a look at Zay Mincy here real quick. Read and react skip. He's explosive and he's got some pop. He's got some broad shoulders too. Looks like he got some mass pretty easily if you wanted to. Aggressive, assertive. You see him just working hard to get that tackle. Reading, reading from the run. Gets up there. Holds contained while doing it. 
up with the wide receiver. Wide receiver looks like he's outmatched, though. Makes a good play there. Read that one. Read that one. Good back pedal. Steps up. Gets the pick. Gets the pick. He read that one. He's good between the ears. I can already tell. Run game and just seeing the ball anticipation. Staying with his man. Staying with his man. Let him get some a little cushion. We got the ball. We got the ball. My screen glitched a little bit on that one. And I couldn't see part of the pick. Here we go. Ball's in the air. Balls in the air. Ball skills. Ball skills. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's good. Man, man coverage. We, we're we with them. You think you're even, you leave it. But no, nah, we play catch up. We're playing cat and mouse with that QB. We're looking in the backfield, making sure. Guy thinks he's got a good break. But we can close it up. Balls in the air. My tight cup. Oh, okay. Knocks that guy over. Now we're trying to get to the tackle. Got a little cushion here. Plant steps. Coming up. We're going to make a play on the quarterback. Nice reaction. He's got burst. He's got some pop. You saw that. Ooh, he stays with them. Wide receivers. Good. He stays with them. Wide receivers. Good. All right. We're going to make a pursuit angle here. We're getting there. We're getting there. Catches up to him. Makes the play. He's tight. He's tight. Nice back step. Reads it. Gets up there. Tight coverage here. Press. Gets off the wide receiver. Gets to the play. Disruptive. I like him. One of the best DBs I've watched so far. Gets up on the play. He's aggressive. Going to get off the block. Gets to the quarterback. Well, I think it's pretty sure it's the quarterback. I wasn't paying attention to that part. I was watching him the whole time. Reads and reacts. Gets up there. Woo! He puts his body on the line. There's no lights in this stadium. There's no lights here. Here we go. We see him. Let's get up there. I could see him being a safety. I could see him. I can see him. He's diverse, and that's a good thing for him for the college game. So if any family members are watching this, yeah, diversity and his skill set's good. Everything's looking good. I'm having fun here watching him. He's aggressive. I like watching him tackle. I like watching him against the run. I like watching him in coverage the best, though, because he's tight. On those wide receivers. We got we got up high a little bit, but we still got it. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Mark him off. There we are. Pursuit angle. You're going to catch him. You're going to catch him. Don't let him run past you. There we go. Where are we at now? There we are. We're up top. Where are we at? Where are we at? Get it. Get it. Get it. Get him down. There we are. Reading. Good contain. Good contain. Now we got to make a play. There we go. There we go. We're tight here. Seven. Don't let seven block you. Get off that. Nice tackle. Let's go. I'm, I need to see more coverage. Nice reaction. Let's go tight coverage, tight coverage. We got a run game going on now. Gets back to it. Nice rebound. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Disruptive. Gets to that block. Gets to the guy. Where you at? Where you at? There you are. You're back there. Your eyes on Mac. We get to the ball. You need to circle yourself off quicker. Yeah. Does not let him get the edge. Solid work. Solid work. I like Zay Mincy. I like Zay Mincy. Out of all the quarterbacks we watched, he's one of my favorites. Top two, top three. He's up there. Top two, top three. One of the top cornerbacks I've watched. I think he's kind of a little bit underranked. I think he's a little bit underranked. I know 24-7 Sports changed up the rankings with one of the cornerbacks that we covered. And that's that Ohio State cornerback. Mincy's better than him for sure. He's one of my most recent cornerbacks I covered. Zay Mincy, I he's in coverage. He's just white on rice. 
He's locked down. He's sticking with you. He'll let you have a step, then come back just to bait that quarterback in. We saw that. I think there was only one other cornerback that I saw or another one that I covered so far this year that's doing that. And Mincy's solid. Solid against the pass. Solid. And then coming up for the run, he's aggressive. He's assertive. Doesn't always give you the pop like a hitter underneath trying to get under the pads, but he'll grab you, bring you down, but he's quick to do so. He is good between the airs. He can anticipate like no other. He is there. He's got good ball skills for a DB too. Very good. I like the length. I like the range. I'm more impressed with how he covers though. Good footwork, smart, cerebral, locked down. He's going to develop quick. He's going to be on the field quick. He's a talent. He's going to be playing. He's going to be playing. Unless something stupid happens, he's going to be playing. Zay Mincy. I I talk high on these players because I'm not a negative person. But I'm talking high, high on Zay Mincy. I I like him in coverage. I noticed some different stuff out of him compared to some of these other DBs. Some of these wide receivers, and we're not on his level. uh, Especially in some of those earlier clips. But still, just his ability to stay tight with the wide receiver. Zay Mincy is a disruption. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. I want to hear about him. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.